Hello everyone, so as you've seen by the title, I'm finally going to be listening to Rubber Soul by The Beatles. It is the sixth studio album released in December of 1965 and here is the track listing. I'm pretty sure I've heard Michelle before. I can't hum it right now but when I hear it, it may trigger my memory. So I've prepared for this journey. I have headphones and I have The Beatles complete score to hopefully help me in moments of like struggle of trying to understand what I'm hearing. I have no idea idea what to predict other than it's going to be out there because all of you are telling me how crazy this is going to be so I look forward to it let's go so the first song is drive my car let's go Okay, so at the moment it's still sounding quite Beatles to me. You have the piano that comes in that has a different rhythm which keeps it moving. We have that cowbell which of course I love. <laughs> she said, baby, it's understood. Give a peanut, it's all very fine. Show you a better time. You can drive my car. Beep, beep, beep. It was quite surprising. So this song is in the key of D, beep, beep, which is the G and the C. So the C is a C natural because it should actually be a C sharp in the key of D. So beep, 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 which make it sound more menacing, but they've chosen to um, lower it a tone, which kind of makes it sound less menacing. And I think that suits the song quite well. Interesting throughout this song, basically the entire song is harmonized. There's not one part so far that's just the vocals as is. You've got that tambourine that's keeping that nice high pitch and it's keeping it going. And that bass is really grooving with that guitar and it's really nice and succinct and I'm enjoying it. <laughs> So that little piano riff again keeps that um, C, this should be a C sharp neutral. It's really fun. So it goes from the G to the C chord, which is inverted in the fifth. Um, it goes up and down, and it's really cool. Dun, 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 dun. Nice and fun to play, too. Baby, I love you. Yeah, that was fun. That one was quite enjoyable, I liked it. The next one is Norwegian Wood. When I was a little, we had a cassette tape and it was a flute cover of pop songs and I have a feeling that flute cassette covered this song because I know the melody, but I don't know how. So this song Norwegian Wood is in the key of E, the same key as And I Love Her. Um, we've got the sitar, which is that sound. I knew there would be a sitar because I read in the comments. Um, interesting, I don't think I've heard a sitar in pop songs before, so there you go. And she told me to sit anywhere. The use the choice of sitar is very interesting. It just it's almost just like playing the root notes like bah! and then the guitar is like doing the melody with the vocals. It's very intriguing. Let's get going. <laughs> Very calming feeling to it, though. The kick drum subtly. So I was trying to 
to figure out why that section when he's like, and she told me she uh, worked in the morning sounds so different. So it's in the key of um, E major, which means the E chord should sound like this. But they've decided to make the third tone the minor, so it's. So that's why it sounds that way. I was like, why is it sounding different? So there you go. Norwegian wood, such an interesting term. It's interesting because a sitar to me does not really have a calming sound. Like it's quite nasal in its tonal quality, but with the pairing of an acoustic guitar somehow balances out the um, warm tone of a guitar and then it, the nasality of that sitar it kind of merges together really well so yeah that's a very interesting choice that I personally never would have gone with but like it works very well. As uh, so this one's called You Won't See Me I'm just gonna guess it has like a mysterious kind of tone to it I don't know why that's my guess. When I call bass that's really keeping it moving the drums I'm really liking the drumming on this by Ringo I'm not a drummer I can't technically say why I like the drumming on this one I just do that piano in here is incredibly subtle like it's just sitting nicely in the range is not too high not too low it's just like sitting nicely so it's very pleasant and warm to the ears I'm really liking it Why you about this they have the lead vocal and then the backing vocals not just a repetitive like ooh ah or whatever but it's like a sentence underneath and I find that really enjoyable to listen to but I am a big fan of the ooh la 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 like, it's just fun to listen to and it makes you join in super quickly as a listener because like oh I can remember ooh la 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 that's easy for me to remember and I really like that um those cymbals and hi-hats were really nice before I'm really enjoyable um this song is a really happy vibe I'm just enjoying it yeah Lost you. Typical, sad topic, happy sound. Love, nice little run there on the drums, do -do 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 on the toms, love it. So the next one is called Nowhere Man. Um, I'm guessing that's going to explore the themes of like belonging to nowhere. Like I'm a nowhere man. I don't fit in here. I don't fit in there. Who am I? That's my guess. He's a real nowhere man. Sitting in his nowhere land. Making oh. all his nowhere plans for nobody. Nice intro. Knows not where he's going to. Isn't he a bit like you and me? They basically have everything is harmonized. There's no one single lead. You have the high that keeping it going. The bass is moving as always to keep things going. Uh, this one is also in the key of E major. They seem to be liking that key. La, la, la. Ooh, at your command. This song just sounds good, like it sounds very confusive, very confusing. Oh, I like how the guitar went really high to low. Just sees what he wants to see. See ya. Yeah. 
It's really interesting, they seem to really be using the ah la la las um, in this album so far. The other song had it as well. When they're singing, the world is at your command, that's the ah vowel, and then you have the ah la la las. So when you have it, um, the word and it has the same vowel as the backing of la, it kind of enforces that, wor um, that word. Um, it's just kind of an interesting choice. Like if you were singing soon and the backing vocals are like ooh, it just like enhances that vowel sound. So that's something I'm noticing as well. He's a real nowhere man sitting in his nowhere land. Nowhere plans for nobody. That's got a side, doesn't it? All his nowhere plans for nobody. always sounds really silly when you're like hey I like that song but liking a song is very instinctual but I just really like the whole package the whole sound of that um towards the end when they were repeating the nowhere man it's nice to add that high harmony just to like catch the listeners attention for the last time when it's like a repetitive phrase so that was nice oh I liked it <laughs> So this song is going to be Think For Yourself. I wonder if it's going to be like a call to the listener, like, think for yourself, don't just take what you hear, you know? Maybe not. Is that too, like, of a messy? Oh, it feels... Oh, I like that sound. The distortion. it all in the sound of that bass the distortion they have on it I am loving the tone of quality it almost sounds kind of synth like I know it's not but it sounds very bassy um that was intelligent it sounds very distorted and like quite different to all the others you know to all the other ways they've um, shown the bass through all their songs. It's got a very different tonal quality and I'm liking that. The tambourine is being used quite sparingly, like I'm quite enjoying that. Those harmonies, there's so many harmonies. Maybe I have to do a video breaking down all the harmonies of Beatles songs because it will take me way too long like doing all these for each song, but that could be really interesting. Think for yourself because I'll be there with you. I like that one. Oh! I was expecting to go meow at the end. It did not. I know I said this in like the previous albums like Help and Beatles for Sale but uh, it all just sounds really well mixed and mastered which I know is not like a songwriting thing but it just sounds really clean and put together and the volumes like nothing standing out too much or too little. Um, I'm really enjoying this. The next song is The Word. It just reminds me of very like gospel like like Bible like this is the word. This is God's word. I don't know. Nice little piano rhythm. The 
way they're announced yet, that spread the word, be like me. So it's like very like, almost like a siren, like, and the staccato, ba, ba, ba. and like having the contrasting of like a very legato kind of stretched out siren thing to be like me. It's, I don't know, it's pleasing to my ear. quite heavily in that section then it strips it away again so it sucks you in because that section before prior to this just sounds very chaotic and then it goes back into it and you're like oh sucks you in oh I'm liking this one hold your horses like it's the one that a high harmony just opens up that section even more okay is this an organ oh Michelle, pretty sure I know it. Let's see. Oh. basically the harmonies that are creating the uh, chord like through the vocals sorry um, and then that bass is moving quite subtly but it is keeping it moving this one obviously has quite a romantic feel like with the lyricism and um, choosing to use French lyrics in a quite a romantic song you know makes sense to me harmonies build up build up and strip away just to the acoustics and the vocals which is like oh which makes us be like oh what is he saying it's more meaningful let's listen <laughs> that's what it does to me it sucks me back in I love you So in the key of F, the E should be like this, but they've decided to make it a flat, which makes this lovely phrase, I want you, I want you, otherwise it will be, I want you, I want you, which kind of sounds like really tense and like not that beautiful at all, it's quite interesting. Until I do, I'm telling you, so you understand, that you understand. <laughs> Almost sounding electric guitar is just really beautiful. Oh, that song just made me happy. I don't have anything other to add, and it was just really beautiful and like sweet. Uh, the next song is called What Goes On. Find out what does go on. Tell me, the Beatles. Like 
different girl style singing again. You have to find out. Having like the harmony throughout the chorus creates like that kind of country twangy sound and then when it strips down for the verse it's like oh it kind of like all the frequencies are quite low so like sucks you back in again oh that's not good let's go to sing again oh so now they haven't Okay, they're stripped into a solo. I was expecting it to keep going. I'm used to <laughs> the classic ending, the rock ending. Da -da! Uh, the next one is called Girl. I was probably just like, hey, there's this girl. She's amazing. <laughs> Anybody going to listen to my story? I'll listen. All about the girl who came to stay. Ooh, it's got a dark She's sound. The kind of girl you want so much, you're sorry. Still, you don't regret it. <laughs> such an interesting choice is like the girl and then having like a deep breath and girl a nice harmony so you have the verse, uh, the verse sorry you have the verse which is very simple um, the drums are just uh, you know um, nothing too fancy the acoustic guitar is lovely but then those harmonies coming into the chorus this is a lovely one this one immediately has created an atmosphere and um I'm a big sucker for songs that create atmosphere. I think it just immediately sucks you in. Anybody going to listen to my story? And then when it gets to the girl, girl, it's they're playing around with the major of the key and the relative minor of the key, which is something that I also didn't, and I love her. I keep mentioning that one just because that's when I break down as well. So it seems to be a trick that they do continue to use because it really does change the atmosphere of a section of the song. So it's intriguing. Let's get going. She's the kind of girl that you down when friends are there. You feel she's looking good. She acts as if. beautiful songwriting choice so again it's going like back to the verse again but to add another element they have the acoustic guitar which is essentially just a counter melody it's not stealing your ear too much but it's just adding more to that harmony and it's making it more feel more longing and like ah oh i really like that kind of like the arpeggio in an aleppo sort of but not quite <laughs> The, dun, dun, the counter melody we just had and that du, 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 is what they were singing before I'm pretty sure it sounds like it <laughs> and there's that symbol which is very quick to end 
and then it fades out. Oh, I really like one. That one, that atmosphere. It's just, I can see, this album's good. It's a good one, isn't it? <laughs> All right, I'm looking through you. I'm looking through you. Where did you go? That's a good line. <laughs> I'm really enjoying that. What's that? I think it's a guitar sound that's been put through some sort of distortion or something or Such a good lyric. Oh, I like that one. I'm saying that about every single one. So it's so interesting. The vocals, the leads are pretty like acoustic y, like even quite soft. And then where it's like, I'm looking through you, you're not the same, whatever it is. And then then comes like the instrumental, which sounds rock like. So it's like the vocal leads into the genre sort of change of going into the rock and therefore the instruments follow that rock vibe. Oh, I like that one. There's not one on this album that I'm yet to dislike. I really enjoyed them all so far. So in my life, um, I don't know what it's about, but we'll find out. Beautiful. It's the key of A major. So it goes from the D major to the D minor. So something I'm noticing a lot um, in this album is they will have like a chord, a D major chord, and they will change the third to go to minor or major quite a lot. So it really like changes the um, the feeling. Um, they're really playing around. I'm sure they're using some sort of modes that I'm not picking up on, but they're not just using um, the key, like following the key as what it should be. Like should I'm saying that you know like that. Um, they're really just following what they think their melody should be, but they're definitely playing around with that third a lot in this album. Guitar, so Out of all these friends and lovers, there is no one compares with you, and these memories lose their meaning when I think of love. I know I'll often stop and think about them. The guitar and then they strip everything down to just the bass vocals and tambourines so that is one thing like if you're a songwriter really play around with like taking instruments away then reintroducing them like just because you're playing guitar doesn't mean the guitar needs to be present throughout the entire song just because you're playing the bass or the keys or the drums does not mean that it needs to be throughout the entire song you can remove it from sections because it does really I think it's a really good technique I, I don't know if it's a technique but it's a really good thing to do because it recaptures people's attentions <laughs>
Yeah. Again, similar to the other song where the rep um, repeating of the phrase, so they add the high harmony or change, you know, to go higher, which catches the attention again. That's lovely. The ly I feel like the lyricism has, what's the word I look for? Do has um, they potentially started to focus on that a little bit more, and I'm I'm enjoying that. The next one is wait. Adding Maraca. Hi hat. of this song is very interesting so basically they start with the vocals of guitar and then they have the tambourine come in then the maracas come in with the hi-hat and then it builds with the like the bass and everything in the guitar and then they strip it down slowly one by one I'm pretty sure they just did a reverse guitar there as well and it seems like it's just like one section and then they're doing it again and doing it again interesting coming back home Maraca with a snare this time Roll with a symbol. Stripping it away. going in that section is very interesting too. Oh, how I've been alone. oh I like that kick drum kind of was creating a rumble then they shimmered with the maracas and tambourine oh I like that very oh, oh sorry stop <laughs> yeah that was really cool completely different song structure just playing around with a new idea like of building something then stripping away building something and how to keep doing it in an interesting way by adding more layers by adding that little reverb uh, reverse sound and adding the snare um adding yeah interesting i like okay this one's if i needed someone oh if i needed someone we've got some confidence there it's like if i needed you but i don't <laughs> we'll see guitar that's like harmonizing with the main with the main vocal which is it's quite low on the uh not low on the mix but it's like in a it's a great it's at the level it should be <laughs> who am i to say it should be you know what i mean i like it okay i like it <laughs> if i needed someone but you see now i'm too much in love so they're really utilizing the tambourine in this one Ah, the guitar of that sounds quite similar to um, Eight Days a Week. Yeah, the guitar sounds quite similar to Eight Days a Week to me. I don't know if the lyrics of this is meant to be kind of insulting, but I found it kind of sweet because I understand when people are like, hey, I'm too busy, but if I had time, yeah, I would be with you. That's kind of, kind of sweet. I liked it. The last one, Run For Your Life. Oh, okay. I have been warned about this one, I've seen it in the comments, so I've heard that the lyrics are quite 
like I'm not probably gonna like them and you're right I'm probably not gonna like them um, so I probably am going to struggle to focus on the um, uh, the music of it because it's like when you have a cake and the icing is disgusting as much as you scrape that icing off the cake's still gonna have a bit of that in there <laughs> I will try my best um, but so far this album has been really cohesive and I've really enjoyed it so Sounds like very Beatles, like the older days. Yeah, it is bad lyrically, but I just found it funny at the end. It's kind of fun, like it's fun, but um, yeah, I definitely don't like that message at all. I'm just before someone says she's cancelling, I'm not cancelling them, I just, I may not be in my cup of tea in lyrics wise, I hope you accept my choice and I accept your choice to like it. Guitar solo, this is very like reminiscent of their older albums. My battery's flashing. Oh my goodness, what? I really enjoyed that album. I feel like there was a lot to learn from that album. I really enjoyed having the book. I think it actually really helped me a lot. Let me know what you think of that. Um, yeah, my battery's dying. Thank you so much. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Share, thumbs up, comment, all that jazz. And yeah, thank you. Bye.